The American obsession with avocados is actually having a global impact and is being felt acutely in neighboring Mexico where the fruit is grown. Mexico was the world's top exporter of avocados in 2021, generating more than $3 billion in the process. But the New York Times reveals this is fueling deforestation and a spike in violence. Jeff Miller joins us now. He is an associate professor at Colorado State University. Jeff is also the author of Avocado, A Global History. Jeff, so help decode some of the findings for us here. Why does the U.S. continue to grow avocados on deforested land? Well, it's, it's largely a market issue. The market for avocado products in this country is between 15 and $20 billion, depending <clears throat> on who you believe. And the U.S. Uh, avocado growers can't fulfill all of that. So as this market continues to grow and grow, we need the supply from Mexico. So what regulations or agreements uh, exist? Uh, there's actually very little regulation in terms of what Mexico can do or what they can send or what the U.S. can accept. Uh, most of this comes out of NAFTA when uh, mm -hmm. the American Farm Lobby wanted to have lots of cheap corn uh, be able to be sent to Mexico. We said that they can send avocados. And so when that started in 94, it just started this uh, avalanche that we see today. So who's suffering the most and where does this, it, it sounds like a violent or criminal element come in? Yes, uh, down in Mexoacan, where most of the avocados are grown in Mexico for shipment to the United States, there's a huge presence of the narco traficante gangs. Uh, at one point when there was a lot of pressure by the Mexican government to uh, stop their illegal narcotic activities, they moved over into growing avocados, which they saw as green gold. And so now they control a lot of the industry down there and all the bad things that go with having the narcotraficantes run this industry. Gosh, that's really um, eye-opening to hear that. So what can be done to solve the issue? It, it's going to be a tough one to solve. There's two things going on. One is there's not a lot of political will in the United States to stop it. Um, it's, it's not considered a front burner issue. And what politician is going to want to go out and say, oh, well, we can solve this by making avocados more expensive. Um, so it, it's it's uh, something that can't be done. And then, you know, there's not a lot of will for the consumers to not uh, buy avocados, which would be the only other thing that could make it work. Very quickly, in the final few seconds, is there a tipping point? Uh, I don't think there's enough political will at this point. Uh, okay. Uh, there's some things that we could do, but I, I, I don't think there's the political will to do it at this point. Jeff Miller, thanks for your analysis. Wow, thank you for having me. Of course.